<laughs> Are we? Are we the baddies? Welcome, Rim Rims, to the adventures of Ohm and friends. Today, I have a plan. It's, it's, a, it's a silly plan, but it is a plan. From our research yesterday, as brief as it was, we unlocked the ability to make with N16 gas something called Element X32, which is just obscenely overpowered. Granted, not very overpowered compared to Void or the Commandos or Glitter Tech, but that's not the point. We've lost a lot of people recently. The castle has been destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed over and over and over. We've got these huge swaths of land where we've repeatedly patched it up with whatever cheap materials we could get our hands on. Not to mention pretty much every square meter outside the castle at this point is covered in a layer of blood. So today, Operation Open the Floodgate. And I know that's very silly given that we've got a nuclear powered forge. Element X32 is 30 plasteel, 20 tisnite, and 70 of the gas to produce 30 of it. Now with 30 ele- oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, advanced autopsy, that's fantastic, thank you. Unlocks research orbital launch. Is a nuclear missile a firearm? I would say no. Anyway, the point I was about to make is that the... Uh, although the materials we're going to need here are very, very expensive. 30 plus steel for 30 of that, plus we also need 20 of this and 70 of a tertiary ingredient. That means we've basically got to have somebody constantly on a drill, constantly on a mine, and then the only way to get the other ingredients is randomly from the quarry. And the truth of the matter is the quarry really isn't that good. I mean, despite the fact that we've got everybody in it more or less all the time when they're not harvesting crops or whatever, we're in the middle of an ice age right now, so they've got all the time to do it. It really hasn't bought in that many resources. I mean, it has. It's bought in a shitload of resources. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be enough to do anything ridiculous with. And today, I want to do something ridiculous. The only thing we've got to defend the base are a few Tesla coils, which as hilarious as they are, the, the, the biggest part of defense we've got is a wall we've had since the primitive era. I think, A, we build a proper wall. Not a kill box, but it, like a gatehouse. An area where our people and the enemies can fight fairly without needing to use choke points or Tesla coils or anything like that. Obviously, where we have the advantage is our base, after all. But I, I don't want the enemies breaking through. The amount of freaking Vikings we've had turn up stealing our good shit just by kicking down this wall or stepping over this thousand-year-old wall. I think it's just too much. So we're going to build a fresh wall. We're going to build it out of adamantium. <laughs> so we're going to need cold, hard labor. And unfortunately, tiny human grown children don't make for good mining labor. Mining robots, though? Those... Wait, are those void weapons? What the hell? Ah, uh, 35.82, 36.4. Just casually build that out of 30 plus steel and two components. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to build some mining bots. And I think what I'm going to do is build three mining bots and then put three... Mining bot specific mines over here somewhere where only the mining bots can work by limiting them with areas This is gonna be right on the perimeter of the base And I don't want our people working out here because it's gonna be incredibly dangerous otherwise, right? So why don't we throw down three mines out here have the mining bots dock inside the castle, but only work here and Deposit the ores in this area too. And then our poor medieval castle that's been left to rot We can reclaim now bear in mind We also need a shitload of houses because we have people sleeping in the hospital because we just don't have any extra space Maybe we can take it all back. Maybe we knock down this wall here, and we open the floodgates, and we let them back in. Now, I want to build as well, because we saw the, the side effects of people being dragged over to a hospital that's on the other side of the map. I want to build another hospital in the original hospital room we had during the medieval era. I think, I think we take back the castle. I think we take back what we've lost. Ah, what a lovely day out. Oh. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Holy crap. Oh, it's a bad day to be dawn. <laughs> okay, no pressure, team. Just a slight bug cleanup operation. Wow, there are <laughs> there are quite a few. Holy crap! At this point, though, bugs are very much beneath us. Although that did just sound like somebody died. It was hauling bot eleven. Rest in peace. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I assume in that case, everybody has yeah more adequate gear. Look at that: flat jacket, gloves, boots, pants, shirt, mask. We do look, we, we do look like the bad guys though. 143 sharp armor, wow. 143, 94 blunt. A little bit concerned about the blunt, but the blunt's only going to be relevant when we get into melee range of people who are trying to shoot us dead with bullets. So to be honest, at that point, we'll probably kill them anyway. 149, 56, 185, wow. Look at them fees are, holy crap. God damn, some of these, some of these stats are insane. Dick Clapper is insane. Keg Denser is insane. Cuddles, Bonce, Cuddles. 
Fucking bonds. Now we have a, if you're old enough to work, you're old enough to be named policy in the colony. You don't want to waste a name on somebody who dies at the age of one. So we, we do have uh, Captain Cuba and Arabs here have been, uh, have, have been named. The problem is every generation gets more and more esoteric because they take on the name. If, if, if a character has two names, for example, Dick Clapper, the second name will be passed on to their children along with the family name. So now we have Captain Cuba Viving Gravy Plasma. <laughs> <laughs> on the plus side, you can really start building a family tree just from the name alone. Anyway, in terms of Operation Open the Floodgates, we do have three mines now set up. I decided to put uranium at the top of all of them because we need that to power our, our nuclear forge. But they're only mining the kind of basic remote stuff, gold, plast, steel, and uh, steel. And then over here, I thought we'd put the storage area. It's a bit pointless having it like all the way on the other side of the map, right? Because otherwise, it would take me just to get there. I might see if we can just get enough room for a fabrication bench over here. I think, to be honest, we probably don't need two smithies. It's probably a little overkill at this point. Oh, no! Octavius! Oh, how old was he? Only 74. What the fuck? What kind of heart attack is that? <laughs> the man straight up exploded. Why did he blow up? I've never seen that before. Um. And with every second generation of the Diamond Dynasty, of course, the one that comes after is... Complete shit. We now have the chicken in charge of the dynasty. The chicken is very, very good at mining, but has absolutely no skill in crafting whatsoever. Is the chicken even married? Uh, yes, of course he is. He's married to his niece and second cousin, Bap E. Snug. Bap Snug. Oh my god. <laughs> Bap Snug E. Pank Dimos. That's good. Wow, actually, almost all of the kids that have been born recently have been born to Sabat. Look at this. There's so many of them. Dick Clapper is the younger brother, right, of, uh, yeah, of the chicken. Oh, Arcadius, your dynasty. It's, it's really starting to dwindle. I suppose the problem is there's no, there's no one they can actually, or there's very few people they can actually marry. We need some fresh blood. We need fresh blood fast. Or the rate we're going, they're going to have to marry a mega spider. Now, because things are very busy in the colony these days, I'm only going to allow family members of the deceased to come to the funeral. So every everybody is at the funeral. <laughs> there we go. Another patriarch for the tomb. Um, well, good news. Bap Snug is pregnant. Holy crap, that was like perfect timing on that though, eh? Second thing, and that is, that is the next, uh, just to double check. Yeah, Chickeny Pang Dimos. Wow, that could have been any more perfect timing on that. The problem is, we have a raid from a bunch of slavers, apparently. Um, oh, shit. Hello. Are you wearing alpha poly armor? What? No! We specifically got a mod to stop that from happening. That's all right. They've only got a 188% shop. Oh, my God. That person's got friggin' beta poly? Ah. <sighs> well, the one advantage we have over them, which was ridiculous armor, is now gone. Null and void. <laughs> oh, just you fucking wait. You wait till Operation Open the Floodgates kicks off. Let's see you get through walls of solid adamantium. Are they moving quite fast or is that me? What are, what are they doing? The dogs are biting the solid stone walls. Classic. Hauling bot, go home. No pressure, Rome. No pressure. There's there's no rhyme or reason to it. They are, they are just going every fucking direction. Okay. You know what? I have faith. Search and destroy. As long as they don't have beta poly weapons... We'll be okay. Wow, they really have just gone everywhere, huh? Shit. Why? Why are those dogs trying to bite through my bloody gas pipes? What's that going to achieve? I think... I think we're the baddies. <laughs> How's it going over here? Uh, ooh, maybe watch out for that. Okay. That was close. What is wrong with them? They just walked all the way down here, kicked the wall down, and now they're walking all the way back up. Are they going in the castle? Oh, never mind. It's okay. They're fleeing. Brilliant. Good work, Viva. You did. You did a great job there. It's fine. I, it's fine. It's fine. How could a face like that possibly be evil? <laughs> more importantly, how's everyone doing? They actually managed to do a lot more damage than I expected, given that we had insane armor. Cut scar on the brain. That's an old bruise or a mace. Okay, you're fine. A couple of bruises. Yeah, see, it's the blunt damage that's really getting through here. 
Bruises from daggers to... I think everybody's okay, though. Yeah, no one's gonna die. Here you go, the chicken. Your ancestral sword. Now, bear in mind, the chicken doesn't have the blessing of Zer. I think we should wait until the next generation. See how his son comes out. Then maybe sacrifice him for the benefit of the son. Might be a better idea, because the chance of Zer screwing us over with another ritual was getting pretty damn high. Void! What is wrong with you? Another group of bloody Viking. Oh my god. A modest group of Vikings. All 153 of them. Ah, that's okay. That's fine. 153 versus uh, 14. Minus Amphisa because she's incapable of violence. Uh, I think someone just had a heart attack. Oh no, they just stabbed each other in the heart. That's okay. That's all right then. No! Those walls are a classic. Did they just steal a light? Where did you even get that from? But they just like pick up and walk away the, with the with the Tesla coils. Can they do that? Oh, Ohm. Oh, Ohm. Ohm is a good guy, remember? <laughs> We're going to have a showdown in the Tesla field. It might be the only way we can keep them stunned enough to get some damage. And chickens getting annihilated already. Ah, oh, shit. Why are they? They're not even pillaging. They're just here to smash my walls up. That's a, that's a, that's an ancient building. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like fighting the carpenters. They're, they're just letting us walk up to them and hack them apart as they attack the walls. I don't know what they're doing. They've quite legitimately lost their minds. <laughs> what are you stealing? A vent? That was the worst raid I've ever seen in my entire life. They get any of our people? Not really. Not enough that we should be worried about it. Oh, good. I was just thinking to myself, it's been a long time since we fought anything. Especially insect friggin' hauling bots. Every fucking time. <laughs> this campaign, mountain base. This is the last time I built a base this big. Oh! Just as I built the friggin' fishery, they smashed it up. We can't rebuild it now because we don't have enough mechanoid components. <sighs> Do they just hate the robots or something? They've specifically beelined it for the robots. <laughs> or should I say spider? Spider lined it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It turns out it was Void that opened the floodgates all along. No! Look at them! There's loads of them! Oh, this, this storyteller can fuck off. 56 over there. Good. And then on this side, we've got a modest 45. Down here, we got another 52. All I want is a metal-plated castle. They're actually damaging Ohm? This is, this is too much. This is insane. Uh, send these guys over here. Gustavalicious, uh, you, you could be screwed here. I don't think there's any way we can save you. Then we've got, how many have we got? We've got five on this side as well. They've knocked Gustavalicious down. They're coming in, they're smashing up the bins. So to kidnap who they can and leave. They are going to steal Gustavalicious. I don't think there's anything... Surviving is dead. Surviving had 157% sharp armor and 103 blunt defense. What do I need to beat this storyteller? Bare minimum is down. Worcester sauce is down. The chicken is down. Who is that? Who have they got there? Who have they got there? Fatigable. Worcester sauce is there. Bare minimum is down. They're about to kidnap bare minimum. It's the fucking chicken. Ohm is never going to get out of that. Gustavalicious is gone. They've taken him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Holy crap. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Okay, bare minimum and Worcester Sauce. Okay, so Worcester Sauce is safe. Fatigue and bare minimum are here. So if we can send him reinforcements, just I don't care who it is. Send anybody, even the people unarmed. Dick Clapper is gone. This is insane. This is actually fucking insane. We're not going to get over to them. They're blocking us. We're not going to be able to get over there. Okay, fend for yourself then. Search and destroy. Bare minimum is gone. This is insanity. Even with all this crazy overpowered shit. The chicken is gone. What are you talking about? How is anyone supposed to beat this? And at the end of it all, Ohm, Siala, Billy Bond, Sanfisa, Bapsnung, and Cuddles are the only ones standing. Surviving was beheaded. Kipos has 28 conditions, but it's otherwise fine. They're gonna be fine. Taco Cat needs tending urgently. Everybody else is is fine. Uh, how many how many dynasties have been wiped out here? So Sabat will still live. Gravy Plasma's fine. 
Stasius is fine. I have some bad news about Arcadius's dynasty. It's actually over, isn't it? How in the fuck has this happened? How are they this strong? I mean, I know how it's happened. I'm not going to get to the technical details, but that is insane that they can throw enough people at us to get through absurd armor. Just insane. Are you... Where's home? Home where are you? Um, kill them all. Arabs is dead. Arabs is dead. Bled to death, I assume. Yep. What the hell does that even mean? A group of industrials in the Sand League have dropped right on top of you. Hey, you're expressage. I am very expressage right now. I don't think I've ever been as fucking expressage in my life. They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Just take whoever you can find at this point, eh? Captain Cuba is dead. Shot to death. Okay, Babsnog and Kipos are saved. Who else did they try and kidnap? I don't think it was anybody else. Who's that? Keg Denter. Ohm, kill. Everybody is rescued. Everybody is saved. We've lost so, so many. From 25 down to 15. That was the most aggressive series of raids I think I've ever seen in Rimworld. I can't believe that we've lost every single Dimos. It's all Sabat. Bapsnug Epank Dimos. It's female. If she gets married, she'll change her name. Sabat, Sabat, Sabat. A single Stasius is a. Are you the. You are the patriarch anyway. Cobalt. Stasius, Sabat. Oh my god. We do have a gravy plasma. Worcester source, female human. Are we. We're out of gravy plasmas too. The entirety of House Gravy Plasma is gone and the entirety of House Dimos is gone. Now, they were kidnapped. There is a chance, because we have the... Because we have the comms console, there is a chance they will get in touch and say, Please come and free me. I'm nearby. At which point, we will send everybody to, to bring them back. We have to. <laughs> oh, no. My son was lost. My three grandchildren. My friend. Five of my kin. Three colonists died in mind-shattering pain. That's insane. Thank God that we've got these handy little Roombas to replace our workforce, though. Two dynasties might have ended, but the work never does. How the fuck am I going to tidy up all these bodies? Advanced prosthetics for 50 research. Maybe this is what we need to even the odds a little bit. <laughs> a carbon fiber leg. As good as the real thing. 75% efficiency. Not quite as good as the real thing, I suppose. Billy Bonts, if you die of the freaking flu now, I'm go I'm gonna be pissed. 95% spread. 97% immunity. He should be fine. But that would really be the cherry on the cake. Oh, never mind. He's catatonic now. Good. Thank you, Billy Bonts. You're really, you're really helping the team, Billy Bonts. Fire it up. Let's get another arc furnace set up. Let's get as much adamantium as possible. One thing I didn't check is what storyteller we actually switched over to in my blind rage. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're now on... Ah, oh, Phoebe Chillax. That couldn't be any more perfect. Thank you. What are you doing? What's the source, you moron? These are ancient artifacts. You are so lucky that we've lost so many people recently. Otherwise, this would be an execution. I was going to wait until more people healed before we had a funeral, but I don't think we can put it off any longer. With the exception of Billy Bonds, everybody is more or less here anyway. Let us bury surviving. Gravy Plasma Patriot. Wow, the irony. And little Captain Cuba. I have a special plan for you. We're going to put Captain Cuba on ice. The final male of the Gravy Plasma Dynasty who hasn't been kidnapped. I didn't want to have to set Ohm up with only a meditation schedule. Especially because Ohm right now is already colonist capable of crafting or... Well, doing anything because everybody's on the verge of bloody breaking down. But it is to save an entire dynasty, so... How can I not? Wait, Bab Snog has given... <gasps> Takaru Chicken Epank Dimos. The dynasty lives on. My god, the only Dimos like I forgot she was pregnant. The hopes of an entire generation live on your back, little Takaru. I can think of only one name to give to you right now. It had to happen. A miracle. 
An actual fucking miracle. They're not very good, but they are a miracle. Chemical fascination. Brilliant. <laughs> ah, not like uh, crafting bonuses or anything like that. Five days of no ohm. That means no defense against raids, no work being built. And this is a sacrifice I'm only willing to make because it will save an entire dynasty. Bionics trader. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We really, really don't have enough money to be doing this. Learning assistant for... For the Larcadius the second. I think could be incredible. Autonomic virus killer, shadow runner, zoom, neuro enhancer. What does neuro enhancer do? Work speed up 10%. Learning factor up by another 33%. If we can get both of those, that would be incredible. We can just afford it. And then we give a little Arcadius a second both of those. Even if he doesn't have a passion for crafting, he's going to be able to live up, I think, to the original's legacy regardless. Can we operate on a tiny baby? We can. Can it have both the Neuro Enhancer and the Learning Assistant? Don't know if there'll be enough room. It's 16 skill for the Neuro Enhancer. So we've got to wait for... We've got to wait for him to wake up. How dare you? You're supposed to be Phoebe Chillax. This is not... This is not Chillax at all. Everybody you've known and loved has died. Or been kidnapped. Now you have horribly painful robots coursing through your bloodstream. You're welcome. Perhaps Snug is on an alcohol binge because her uncle... Dick Clapper died. Or she just forced them to do... Recreation all day. Even though I've said to that anyway, they're still working in the quarries. Arcadius the second baby is no longer incapable of walking. Arcadius the second is a baby though? Ah. Uh. Wait. Oh my god, they actually were able to install the learning assistant. I also can't help but notice that Captain Cuba seems to be... Rotten? Like, still rotten, despite the fact they are alive. He's back! Precious little home. He is wandering around psychotically, though, because of the... Well, probably because he just raised a dead child. I probably would... And that child seems to be still... Still rotten. Let me leave the mask on there, fella. <laughs> How dare you mock me like this. It is 36 degrees in this fucking room right now. Oh, look, here's the air conditioning you don't have because you live in the UK. <laughs> Local streamer screams at Green Man until he melts into a puddle. Holy crap, it worked. Arcadius the second has the learning assistant and the neuro enhancer. 53% faster learning factor and, well, assuming they're additive, and 10% bonus to work speed there as well. Now we've just got to wait and hope and pray that this guy ends up with some passions. I don't think they have any because it would, I, I believe we've seen with other babies before that it has shown the stars even though they are incapable of that skill at that particular stage. So... The 50% bonus to learning speed might be essential to make this guy into a good character because it looks as if he might have nothing. And today is City on the Meadow Day. <laughs> ah, how many years have we been here then? Uh, day since your arrival, 660. Wow, what's that, 11 years? Holy crap. 11 ohm years, of course. So one mechanic we've never really looked at that I think is going to become very vital very fast is the ability to wield weapons in the offhand. They could, for example, use two guardless katanas. It makes them less accurate or something like that. But there is something that lends itself incredibly well to that mechanic. And it would be a stoppable weapon that we could stuff using that element X32. Welcome, my friends, to Fist Town. <laughs> I'm brave enough to say it. I'm going to fist void. And not just one fist. Both fists. I will teach Void a lesson for kidnapping my colonists. And I'll make their fucking eyes water as I do it. This element X32 also doesn't take that long to produce. Ohm, you're first up, my friend. Oh, no. Robots and Randy Random. Randy Random's fine. Let's go see what robots they've got, because this could be a way to get us back on our feet pretty fast. Uh, blindness beacon? Combat beacon? Pain suppression beacon? Ah, uh, 48,000 apiece. No, I don't think I will. I think I might buy the garden bots, though. I know that we can craft them ourselves with them. We can also just get a load of silver with them. I think we'll buy these to try and deal with the quite sizable gardens that we've got right now. I mean, sure, we can never need more crops than we're capable of growing, right? But it's more the fact that we've got a lot of people who have a lot of shit to do. And if we're spending all that time gardening, we're missing out on the ability to craft all those ores or craft the, you know, the magic power fist that I'm so desperate to make. Really? Another robot trader. And now we're back to Cassandra Classic. What the hell just happened there? I love that Kippos didn't even get out of the room before it happened again. All right, what have you got this time? Crafting... Whoa, crafting bots? 
done. I wonder if we can have the robots do the basic things like forge the resources. They can operate a forge and then home does the skilled weapons and, and gear crafting. Or apparently Cuddles does it. I have drafted Cuddles into crafting because she does have a double passion in it and we, well, we haven't got anyone else. And even this good adamantium vest has <laughs> disgustingly good stats. Not that apparently it matters when everybody's kidnapped. Oh, see, there we go. That's something I didn't consider. The robot can just sit there and recycle the uh, apparel or smelt the old weaponry. And that frees them up to do the more important stuff. There we go. That's some good shit right there. People are, people are, people are getting on with things. Things are starting to get back to normal, even though we lost a third of the colony. <laughs> oh my God. Look at Arcadius the second's hair. That's uh, kind of horrifying. Here it is. The final element X32. Holy crap, that's a lot of work. Do it, um. Do it for all those poor people who were kidnapped. A fist today is a victory tomorrow. Here we go. What? Only excellent quality? What the hell do I pay you for? Oh, it's got some art on it. An engraving of this weapon portrays Bonds Bonds about Bonds Bonds about okay, stumbling around with a completely broken expression on his face because of the stress. <laughs> oh my god, it gets better. He has tears streaming down his face. The sensual style of the central scene clashes with the minimalist depiction of the background. Unusually for this kind of work, a stalk to the right of the main scene seems to express express oppression. That is the hardest sentence I've ever had to read in my entire life. He has engraved this fisting device with uh, Bon Sabat breaking down in despair. What we didn't check is uh, the stats. The power fist has 69 melee damage per second. Of course it does. Of course it does. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get a real strange impression from this, home. You used to be so suave and sophisticated with your steampunk top hat. It's all gone very Pulp Fiction. In terms of armor, the only thing left to make is the adamantium flak jackets, so then everybody is incredibly well defended as if they weren't before when they were kidnapped but you know it's the best we can do to be honest the power fist is going to take a very very long time to make the element x32 it's 70 of the n17 gas and then it's uh, you mine that in groups of 10 that's gonna take a very 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 long time i think the dream of maybe two for everybody is a little ambitious let's just start with one for everybody maybe we can get like a like a shield in the offhand or something like that. Oh, there we go. We can see Arcadius to the second skills and they're pretty terrible. <laughs> Do we still have the books that we made during the medieval era? Where have those ended up? They've got to be here somewhere. Oh, I can't find them. Well, that's okay though, because we do have these training workstations, right? What is it we need to build these? We could focus on that. Weak AI chip. Well, that's from Rim Factory. Recipe Daisy Disc is also from Rim Factory as well. Steel Advanced Components we can churn out in no time. Let's take a look under the Factory tab then. Uh, and by that, I mean the other Factory tab. Industrial? Yeah, there we go. I don't know if the Blast Furnace is capable of producing that or whether we need something a bit more advanced, but we'll, we'll build another Blast Furnace. Because I want Arcadis to be as good as possible as early as possible, I might move home over to Research, see if we can find the components we will need to build this as fast as possible. Weak AI chip, recipe data disk. I'm going to assume not from here. Yeah, simple machine frames. And then it's with the basic assembler that I think you build the other things. There was another thing we can build for the lab. This thing here, the computing system. We do have everything we need for that now. Uh, except the except the space. Research the most basic plastic surgery techniques. This could be quite handy for rebuilding all these dynasties. Is it unethical to operate on a five-year-old boy to make him more appealing to help rebuild the dynasty? Maybe. Oh, and you know what we researched yesterday but never did anything with? The bio laboratory. Let's throw one of these down in here. This is going to be our kind of bio lab with the autopsy tables, maybe some proper hospital beds, things like that for actually adding on the bionic parts. Oh, hang on. Wait, is this... Is the robotics machining table the thing that we need to build the training station? You know what? It actually might be. It was AI chips and something else. Okay, so we can make machine frames from that. But still no AI chips. Recipe data disk. That was the other thing we needed. Yeah, I'm fairly certain Rim Factory adds its own specific workbench for that. It's not in the... I suppose it could be in the fabrication. No, we just don't have the research to start the training yet. But we have something. And that something is hope. The, the the dynasties managed to survive almost being completely wiped out. We have Captain Cuba back, who is 
horribly rotten, but alive. And we have Arcadius the second through a miracle. There is always the chance we can rescue those who were kidnapped too. Tomorrow, we fist, we train, we rebuild. And we try and save these dynasties because just having, you know, a survivor isn't really going to help out too much. We might get void again immediately and then Arcadius will get horribly murdered. Do you have any suggestions for the best approach to stopping this from happening again? I'm all ears. I thought the adamantium armor and the ridiculous weapons would do it, but the game is still outclassing us. Well, let's see what we can do. I'm, I'm quietly optimistic. I was, I was devastated there for a second. I thought generations of work had been destroyed instantly by a single raid but we got we got very very lucky thank you to the executive producer patrons of course without which i wouldn't be able to spend many hours a day uh in a swelteringly hot office suffering from dehydration thank you to grant the hero venator sparrow shade slayer cmac the white fox god alex turtle boy ryan thistle winds tinseled cloth shadow 1317 jobo daddy isolated rogue baking kitten ah 9471 and the Link King for their support over at the Executive Producer Tears over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for making this possible. Thank you to Dougie Fresh, Coombe, Angry Ares, Byron, Therapy, Sinker, Dunamite, Lazy Panda, Lady Cerulean, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Warsheep, Roger Wilco, Asaro, Deuterian, and Atreus Sen as well. 